Hey everybody, it's Gabriel Correjo with Automation Anywhere. Um, really excited to have Marzia Navi join us today to talk AI, NLP, intelligent automation. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So let's jump right in. Tell me a little bit about your background. Sure. I did my PhD in aerospace engineering, so I'm a rocket scientist by training basically, and my PhD and the research I was focusing on was on autonomous systems. So basically the technology that we are seeing these days in autonomous cars. But one thing that I was more excited about is that how technology gets to people's hands how technology can solve a problem, how we can provide value by solving a problem for a consumer, for a customer, for a different part of the society. But you as a rocket scientist and also as, as, as the person sort of in charge of NLP uh, and AI and working on the AI team, how, how are these things coming together? Tell me a sure. little bit more about that. RPA is basically trying to mimic human actions and perform a task, but AI from the other perspective is trying to mimic human intelligence. So traditional RPA was really good when we are dealing with structured situations, reading from an Excel sheet and copying it from somewhere else. But in order to add more capabilities to RPA, we need more intelligence. I'll give you an example. So invoice is an example of a semi-structured document. Invoices are different across different companies. Mm -hmm. So for example, as Boeing, I have tens of thousands of contractors and each one of them are going to send me uh, a different invoice. So for RPA to read those documents, they need more capabilities. They, mo they need more intelligence that is coming from AI. And so when you talk about a semi-structured document, yes. for instance, um, it's semi-structured because, like for instance, an invoice. An invoice will have an invoice number, it exactly. should have a corresponding PO number, exactly. it'll have an invoice amount. Yeah. Let's just start with start with that. Yeah. However, those might not all be in the same spot exactly. on the document, exactly. right? Talk to me exactly how, like, how do you pick up those sort of three components that you need to then put into your your you know, uh, payment processing system or something? To read the documents, first of all, most of these documents are scanned, so we need to run OCR, which convert these images to text. Then after that, we need we are looking for key value pairs. So invoice number and the value next to it, it is the value of the invoice. So um, name of the company, the value next to it, company name, the value next to it is the value that we are interested in, right? So this combination, it is uh, something that IQBot is doing. So we need to train IQBot that, okay, this is how you need to do it for this category of information. These are all different a stage of complexity that we can add to IQBot and we can add to RPA. So what's the difference between a bot, an RPA bot, and an IQBot? Sure, so RPA, um, it is a platform. But in order to add more capabilities to RPA, we needed cogn a cognitive platform, a platform a, a capability that adds human intelligence. In order to read those invoices, I need IQBot. So IQBot is basically a capability. It is a command or it is a new skill on RPA that reads the semi-structured documents, it put it in an Excel sheet, but all of this is happening in RPA as a platform. So where are we going next with RPA and AI? One thing I'm super excited is that this RPA plus AI can show people how AI can be beneficial to everyone. Think about the uh, auto insurance uh, and claim processing in auto insurance. I have an accident. See what happens on the insurance side. So the person needs to gather all the information, fill out some forms. Uh, they need to look into any fraud, gather the information and do the fraud detection. They need to do damage estimate from the cars that I take. So they need to put all this information together and make a decision. And then based on all this information, then they either approve your case and they send you the check or they reject, right? So all this process, RPA plus AI can solve it. So today, this prop, traditional way that we are submitting a claim in car accidents and the way that insurance companies are doing it, it takes a lot of time. So from a consumer perspective, even from an insurance perspective, but we can solve these problems in less than five minutes. And that's why I'm saying that RPA plus AI is super powerful because now we can solve really complex problems when we bring this AI plus RPA uh, into lives. So it's really amazing where we're at at this point in time and really excited about what's coming down. I really appreciate you 
sharing your insights uh, and your expertise. Um, for those of you out there, you can follow Marzia on LinkedIn and on Twitter, uh, but on LinkedIn it's Marzia Navi. See her name in the lower thirds here. Um, she's publishing quite a bit there with thought leadership, some really in interesting use cases and insights. I um, invite you to participate in that conversation. It's really fascinating. But thanks again. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social for more great RPA content.